Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Enki. Maya Bonus 2 for 2022 is finally here and this comes with a couple of updates. So if in case you've been working with Maya before, you already know that there is a set of bonus tools that doesn't come with the vanilla version of Maya. And if you would like to get these, you can simply go over to Autodesk App Store and download this. I'm definitely going to put a link in the description just in case you want to grab this. And of course, we're going to talk more about a couple of things that you can get with this one and some other things that you might want to know. So get Getting started, once you go over to this link, which I'm going to put in the description, you can download the Autodesk Maya Bonus Tools for 2018 all the way to 2022. And this comes with a couple of things. So by default, once you install that, you can go over to the Bonus Tools section. Let's just tear this out and you can see some stuff. Let's throw in a couple of geometries within our scene and I'm just going to scale this one up so that we can use it as an example. So we have two major stuff now, which one it deals with the speed cut and the other one deals with extrude instance mesh. Now I have not gone through to try this one, but the speed cut is quite simple to work with. Let's turn on, you know, the on-screen ambient, make sure that we have all our stuff looking cool. And I'm just also going to scale this one a bit and drag this all the way up. All right. So how does this work? So for this one, once you have it selected, go over to the modeling section and click right here within the speed cut it pops up a whole new window and this is a lot. So all you need to do is with this open, you need to select the mesh and then you need to set it as a base mesh. Now this is going to be very useful for those that are into hard surface stuff. You might find this one very, very useful. So all I need to do now is I need to select this mesh, make sure that you've set it. Then you can click on the cutter section and you can start cutting stuff. Now, if you like to deal with symmetry, you can play with the symmetry right here. If you like to mirror certain parts, you can do that. And down here is where you can set some alignment. And let's just go in and drag this all the way. You notice you have a couple of patterns right here. You can do some live draw in case you want to draw directly onto a certain model, especially models that you've actually made as your base meshes from here. And then you can do some baking and all that stuff. I'm going to put a link in the description as well that can take you over to the original creators page where you can see some of the things that you can do with speed cut 1.58. So a very simple example of how this works is you need to click right here within the cutter. So if I click on this button, I can now place something within the UI. So if I place this right here, I can select the scaling tool and I can scale this all the way up and actually scale this all the way to this point. And this is actually free. So you can go ahead and grab it so we can scale this all the way to a point like this. And we can start doing some very cool stuff in terms of beveling. So in case we want to have some bevels across, we can do that bevel right there. And we can also control how much bevels that we get. So I can move this over to a position like that. So we can control how much bevels that we're getting. And if you like to smooth this, you can also smooth this part. And if you like to play with all of these things as well, you can have fun doing this. Something else that you can do is Actually, I think we should hide this because it's making us not see what we are working on. All right. So something else that you can do is with this done, you can also select from any of these presets that exist here. So we can click on six, for example, and we can get a six sided cutter and we can throw that in there. We can scale this up and we can also do some very cool stuff like, you know, beveling that as well. So depending on what you're trying to create, you can do some amazing things with that. And you can also do a simple draw. So in this case, I can select that draw tool and I can draw right here. So let's also make sure that we're doing that drawing properly. Let me delete that. And let me do that from this point. Click on the draw section and I'm just going to draw right there and draw this right on top of that. And this is just a simple draw like you can uh, draw stuff directly. It doesn't really mean that you're playing with the curves. So we can have this right about the point like that. And we can also draw in a little bit of uh, bevel like so. So with all this done, you can now go in and click on finalize to finalize this. If you want to work with any of these things, you can also do that. So by simply hitting on finalize, you'll notice that we have a very clean looking mesh, despite all of the bevels that we're having around, you can see how clean this mesh is. So there are tons of stuff that you can do with this. You can also play with a couple more features that exist here. In case you're working with UVs, there's extra bonus tools that deals with UV editing. Rigging has a couple more stuff like renaming your new joints and, you know, having stretchy eye cases. You can do lots of stuff with that. Animation has the walk cycle control. You can also copy set driven key, mirror your animation, reverse your animation, and also do something known as time warp animation. So you can actually do lots of stuff. 
So in terms of trying to replicate a particular model across a given part, let's say this is the model that we've worked on. Let me just uh, go all the way back. So let's say this is the model that we just worked on and we would like to scatter these across. We can select this model, click right here. This is also very cool stuff. You can click on paint duplicate on object. And once you do that, you can go in and you can paint duplicate on the object. You can press B on the keyboard to increase your brush size. And you can use that to make some paintings directly onto a surface. So depending on how big your brush size is, this might take a while for these things to be painted across. So you can actually use this to create some very quick and rapid looking stuff. So for anyone who would like to get this, you can go over to the Autodesk Maya bonus tool section right here within the app store and get it. And the original creator of these two bonus tools that we're looking at is right here. So I think his name is I'm 3D Joe. I don't really know his name, but he is the creator of this and I guess they did write his name somewhere. I can't really figure that out. So he's the creator of this and there's also some updates. So for rigging, there is a weight editor that is now implemented there. We didn't get to take a look at that. These tools are no longer here, like the curve to tube is no longer there. I think the reason why that is no longer there is because it has now been replaced with the sweep mesh. So this has now replaced that and I guess that's the main reason why it is now obsolete. So just in case you want to get this, you can simply go over here, download it. And you can go over to the creators page and you can download some very cool add-ons that you already have here. And if you want to read more or maybe you want to see more about this, you can go over to the speed code Maya. There is a video right here that can give you a full guide on how you can work with this and actually get the most out of it. So this is more like it. If you want to download these things, you can get them here. If you're looking for where you can download more Maya scripts, you can actually go over to WZX store. So I found this store and it's a pretty cool one. So you can go over here and you can download tons and tons of scripts for Maya. And there is actually a script bundle that you can get here. And I guess he also have uh, another bigger bundle for scripts. So you can also see that there's an ultimate bundle right here that you can get. So all of these things are right here. So just in case you're looking for scripts for Maya, you can get these things here. And this is more like it. So the bonus tool for Maya are right here and they're available for Maya 2018 all the way to Maya 2022. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And I'll like see you guys again with a tutorial update. Free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.